Okay, I welcome uh, I welcome you back to uh, uh, WordPress training. Okay, this is module four, and in this module, we'll be working on the demo data that we uh, uh, that we downloaded from the theme that we installed in our WordPress the last module. Okay, if you remember, we we installed a uh, a theme into our uh, WordPress uh, back end that is um, by the name Zig Zag, okay? And after downloading the, de the demo data, all right? This is what we have. So, and this is what we are going to be editing, all right? For our website. This is what we are going to be editing. This is what we are going to, to be editing. So, and I believe you know how we get to this place because you need to have this bar. Look at this bar that I'm pointing to here. If you don't have this bar, which is means it means that you are not inside the admin. So because this is where your editing is going to be taking place. These are the tools that you are going to be using to be editing your website. All right. If you want to customize, this is theme options. Uh, so to, if you want to edit a page, you edit your page directly from here if you want. And I said that I want to introduce us to uh, a page builder that is called Elementor. That's what I want to introduce you to. All right, and this is the builder that you you are going to uh, really enjoy. So it's, it is drag and drop. So you don't need to uh, to stress yourself in writing code or doing anything. So you, you can edit your page with Elementor. There is another one that is called WP uh, BlackBerry. All uh, right. So and uh, but I, I would like you to. The only one I'm, I'm going to be introducing you to is Elementor. So at that side, where you will download that's WP uh, Locker, where we downloaded zigzags or our themes from, you will see on each of the themes that you are downloading, you will see this icon, this letter E. You will see that it means that, yes, you can edit that particular theme with Elementor. All right, that's the builder that we are going to be using to build our website okay so this particular website means that we can use elementor to edit this website okay so like i said what you'll be doing on this site is that you are going to be editing everything that you see here this, this is a complete website so it is a preloaded website that somebody designed for you to be able to edit so you need to edit this one to suit what you really want. So that is why we call it CMS, Content Management System. Okay. So you are going to be changing the content that you are seeing in this, uh, uh, I mean, in this uh, website to suit your own. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Before we go to that, like I said, this bar must be there. So you, it means so you can see this where we this is where we came from, all right. This is the dashboard, okay. And to get to that place that I just show you now, you come to this place and say visit site. So you visit your site from this backend, or if you know your details that you can use to enter that, I mean, to enter your backend, you can just go straight instead of coming to this place first. You can enter your uh, dashboard straight by inputting your. Uh, I mean, in, in putting your uh, your link, your address here, slash WP admin. So you want to go to the admin area. So this is what you're going to use. And it will ask for username and password before you can get here. All right. And when you get here, all you just need to do is to come here and say visit site. And that will bring you to this place. All right. So this is how, this is what people outside is going to be seeing on your website. All right. This is what they are going to be seeing. So it is very, very important that you have this. But if this part is not there, then you are not inside the admin. You are not inside the dash inside your dashboard. So you need to go and log in to have this detail. So you cannot edit anything if this bar is not there. All right. So this is uh, the website. The first bar you see here is the uh, the header. So this is where we call the header. Everything that is happening here is called the header. That's where you have your logo, you have your menu bars. So you, these are your menu bars here. So all these menu bars, you can 
adjust it to suit what you are doing so and here we have different kind of homes here these are home pages that you can choose can choose you can actually choose from them and these are the pages that you you can edit to to suit your own this is home pages so this we are on home on one now this is how on one look like if you don't have if you don't like to use home one you can come to home two click on home two all right and see this is how the home two look like it's loading yeah so that is this is the slider of this one so this is how the home two look like so you can edit this one change all this picture to suit uh your company's website all right and edit all these all these things all these things are editable we are going to be doing it one after the other okay let's see another home then we now agree to to edit one all right so you can choose any one of them so let's say this is a home i'm going to use so this is another home let's just explore a little let's explore this another home so you can choose to use this home too for your website see how beautiful it is see how beautiful how wonderful the thing is okay um let, let's see on four on four all right like i said what we are going to be doing on this module is just to introduce ourselves to uh to our web page and see how they are I mean, how um we classify the i mean our web page from the header to the slider to the body and to the footer those are the things i'm going to be explaining to us so we're going to be taking it one after the other so this is another another uh page okay let's just try and stop let's let's stop here because of our time so let us say we are editing on four all right so let's edit it on four so let's work with on four so and we have all our pages here too about us our services our team single team value elements it's not compulsory that you use all this so you can choose and remove other ones See, if you're not having a shop this in case your your site is um uh, you are doing an e-commerce website where people can come to your website buy things just like jumia buy things and they just uh pay online and all the all you just do is to ship their goods to them so that is when you need to uh use your shop this is contact contact us people for people to contact you they can actually click on this directly that will take them to the contact page so that they can fill the form okay all right and this is blog news about well what is happening around your business or anything that you're doing okay all right so also what you're going to be doing now let me just introduce us to the um the four major parts of your web page the header that's where you have this you have your logo on the header and the um the menu bar we have our menus here on the on the header and in some I mean, on some uh web pages you have your address bar too that it's always some always carry address bar on top that is on the on the header and this is a search uh icon where you can you can actually search I mean, one thing very quickly around your website all right okay that is the header and this is the slider this is the slider if you know if you look at it very well on most of the of websites you see that there's a slider that normally comes up and be showing uh the pictures of what of, of the products that that particular uh, company is selling or their services that's exactly that's what we mean by slider okay this is the slider for this website you can see the pictures are changing and um even the uh, text on the pictures too are changing and we have some buttons there too that can link you to another page we have some buttons that can link you to another page so if you want to know more about the business you can click on learn more that will take you to another page that will explain to you properly the business of this website and get in touch 
and this one you can still need you to contact us get in touch and contact us they are still the same thing so you can actually edit it. so all this one is being attached actually you can edit this one with elemental but this slider eh, can only be edited we i mean by the help of slider revolution we are coming there so we might not get there today on this module but that is we are that is this is what you use to edit uh your slider and if you want to edit your um your header you can edit that one either from the customize or you go to uh edit page so you go back to your um, to your uh, dashboard to edit to be able to edit all this well, yes we are coming there so let's go there so I've, I've told you this is the header this is the slider and here is the body the body of your website here is the body of your website so from this place after the after the slider so that's where you have the body of your website so all this you can actually can actually edit them can actually edit them so that's what that we're going to be looking at all right so still all these ones we edit where this is still the body of your web of your website all right and the body and this is okay i think we have um news here and this is our blog blog is news concerning your business or your product you are selling or that that is related to what you are doing that is where this is the news and this is exactly what you uh the area you need to concentrate on if you want to actually bring more traffic to your website because people read news so it's just like a blog uh -huh. but this is a mini blog in your website okay and at the end we have the footer this footer is very very uh, minute all right so but there are some filter that has more content than this than this so and um, how to edit so you can edit your fit, footer to uh with the help of the elemental or you can go to your dashboard uh, to edit uh your footer okay so those are the parts the major part of your web page okay so that is that i think we are good to go with what we we are seeing here on the, so the next thing we are going to be doing is that we are going to be editing this particular page this particular home page with elemental all right uh-huh so we are going to be editing this page with elemental and um don't forget i said that our slider can there are some sliders that you can edit with elemental and there are some that you can only edit them with the slider revolution so that is that okay maybe the first thing i should even do with us is that we should i should show you how to uh how to do um how to edit our slider but like i said i don't want this video to be to be too much so with this i want to stop here on model 4. model 5 we are going to how we are where how you can edit your slider change the picture that you have here put your own or the video put your own video edit it edit all this text to suit your own website put your products here for people to see all right that's what we are going to be doing in the module uh five of our wordpress training thank you very much See you again. Thank you.